Hi everyone, it's Amy and Ben. We've just watched the trailer for BBC's Dracula. Mm. And thought we'd give you our immediate reaction. I love a good vampire yeah, story. Yeah, you were keen as beans to um to watch this one once you worked out that there was a new trailer that dropped. Yeah, right? well, I didn't even I've never heard anything about this series, and I guess because it's a BBC series, it's yep. not like it's a big kind of American production. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like the UK ones mm. tend to go more under the radar. Yeah. Um, and also there's ones that are more like <laughs> that's our pug in the background just um choking. Uh, but with this one, I was like, all right, cool. It could be a little bit sort of Hannibal style. Yeah. Um, or it could be, um, I don't know, maybe a little bit more Anne Rice's The Vampire Chronicles. Well, I thought it was, and it's funny because I think it's, it's, um, made by the same people that did Sherlock. I thought I got that Sherlock, um, Vibe. vibe from it um and i was thinking which sherlock is that because i know that there's been the one with benedict Cumberbatch, i think it's that one I then there's one. robert danny jr's movie then there's that um what's that one called with lucy Liu in it oh yeah 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 holmes no holmes? that's another one but yeah, yeah. elementary ah uh, elementary that's right yeah i took it i took it as the one with benedict Cumberbatch, but only because it's bbc um, well that makes so. sense it's probably the only one that's actually called sherlock when you got elementary yeah. homes, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah. trailer itself, um, I thought it was quite pared back. But what I loved was the imagery because it tells me it's going to be very true to the original Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, so I've been reading that recently. I love yeah. um, those Gothic novels, Gothic literature, particularly from the Romantic Age around that sort of uh, time frame of the yep. last couple of hundred years. And I've loved the writing so much. There's such... Uh, it, it's hard to explain what is different about vampires over time, but Bram Stoker being that original Transylvanian, um, just like the weird kind of like... Is it Romanian, like Central European yep. feel to like the village and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, the this, Slavic villages. Yeah, yeah, the Slavic stuff. This feels like it could have a little bit of that um, combined with a very London type feel, like Jack the Ripper type feel, which is yeah. I think cool. that's a really good, um, good call out. What I really liked was that um, they're mobilising the nuns. Like, there's this, you know, what do you mean mobilising well, the nuns? What's really I find interesting. I haven't watched too many Dracula vampire movies, but mm -hmm. it's always about you know a priest, old priest will try and do something, blah blah blah. I'm like, you've got, you got these nunneries of like, you know, able bodied women. <laughs> and like, they all kind of just whip out these wooden stakes. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Mm. Um, because it also adds um, numbers to the game. So usually when it's a priest, it's just a priest. He might have a helper. Yeah, one so on he's one. not for that creepy. It's yeah, more, yeah, you're yeah. more like kind he's, of scared for him. You're hoping yeah, that maybe he's outgunned. He's yeah, outgunned. Outgunned and um, outcrossed. But I'm like, oh shit, you, they pulled out, you know, there's like, what, 16 of them. They all got wooden stakes. I'm like, mm. This is going to be interesting. Well, yeah. If one of them goes down, then you've still got more 15. swarming in. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's the thing about Dracula because I know um, he's got his kind of wives around him or um, I don't know. What you, I can't remember what they're called, but I'll, I'll get to that in brood. the story. Yeah. yeah. Vampire brood. But maybe some of the nuns will turn into um, his vampire essence. Yeah. So that should be fun. But I love Dracula himself. What a great guy to play. Play it. It's very classic. Very classic. It's, it reminds me of like, um, what, like your 1950s style of Dracula. You know, mm. it has the, has the cape that goes up like that and it's got red lining on the inside but, but and it's got the, the widow's peak as well. That's it, but not so, um, not cornerly. Not so comic, yeah. comical. It's, yeah, it's yeah. actually got that real, classic. Like he, yeah, he's got the charisma that he could be someone where you, you've got to go and meet with a diplomat of, um, yeah. the place that he's from and then you find out oh this guy's really lovely he's serving me wine he's got this really nice mansion happening uh, and he also likes to drink people's blood yeah well what did you think of the elements of horror in there so when we saw like you know what some mangled people look like and blah 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 the fly going into the eye yeah Great. yeah. I, I found it was, it was done in that the it nails was, it was, fingernails yeah, always it was Ooh. very um, disturbing but not um, almost kind of like that violent imagery so it was it wasn't absolutely horrific but it gave you the i found it gave me the creeps yeah and i think uh, that's exactly again the, the feel that we're getting from this is very much that um vintage style classic um, classic classic uh 
gothic horror. yeah gothic, gothic yeah. horror and the guy going up the stairs with the candlelight i love um how the lighting is going to be looking in this um film it just looks quite well done it doesn't look like it's overproduced it doesn't yep. look like they're going to be dealing with cgi in most aspects it looks like it's going to be a hearkening back to a time when things were simpler for vampires. So no glitter. Simpler times for vampires. No glitter skin. Yeah. Uh, and I think... No Wikipedia we, entries. Yeah, and I wonder what we do in the shadows. I know that's Taika Waititi's kind of um, comedy version of vampires, but I love that he's done that recently because it was a movie. It's come out now as a TV series and is doing quite well. And I think that's opened up a little bit more of... I guess from the production side of vampires, it's less Dracula 3000 or Blade Trinity and more um, focused on the character itself in a small environment like a yeah. house. Well, they did kind of do that funny um, period. So you had a couple of different ways of portraying vampires. So you're right, they had the, the whole Blade series, um, how they were, you know, um, kind of like more monsters, really. Highly intelligent, highly organized, conspiracy theory based. Um, More they- superhuman like monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, then you had Twilight, which was terrible. Too romantic. Um, yeah, which kind of really ruined it. Like uh, the glittery skin and, you know, the whole romancing was, was just ridiculous. Then you had like some um, attempts in between as well. And there was that one. Um, what was the one that I, was... Yeah, you know the one. Yeah, it's, I, got I the, it's got the um, guy that played um, Tywin Lannister is actually the seed vampire. Mm-hmm. Um, was and he it was the one with the black on, hair? Like he, sort yeah. of, he reminds me of Henry Cavill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he, he's the, I uh, like that one. Probably look it up. Or something. Yeah, yeah, where it was based on that. It essentially, it was um, uh, Vlad the Impaler mm. um, who was a janissary who came back and was trying to help his people resist um the invading turks yeah and he makes a deal with a vampire um and takes on that power yeah um so there was a couple of different attempts but although interesting they were more either um they just weren't true to what the what the vampire narrative usually is Mm. and so it's really good to see them go back to that kind of classic structure And, and also like the way that the story is that you know it's in some type of self-contained village, there's probably going to be some random deaths or people winding up their blood drain. And then, that, you know, it's, it's a little bit formulaic, but that was what was so enjoyable about it. Yeah, I think it's going to be picking out the best parts of it. And interestingly, when I think about what ones recently or semi-recently kind mm-hmm. of uh, remind me of this one, it's definitely more Anne Rice style because the thing that I found about Anne Rice, and this is probably more with the movie Interview with the Vampire, which starred Tom Cruise, oh, yeah, Brad with the Pitt. Vampire. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kirsten oh, Dunst was in there as, and a, true as blood. a baby vampire. True, true Blood, blood. Sookie yep, Stackhouse. Yep. Um, those types of vampires, actually. It's in the same vein of that Anne yeah. Rice one with that um, kind of New Orleans style mm. baby thing. Yes, this is, this is London, so it's not New Orleans. But um, the way that... I don't know how to uh, refer to it, but the way that they talked about or portrayed vampires in that is that they've got this like charismatic magnetic feel to them and they also deal with humans in a way that's um yes they're always going to be distant and outside and isolated from them yeah. but they also do have feelings or they do connect with them in, in certain ways so i'm wondering if there's going to be that kind of element to it as well where he's kind of over um dealing with centuries and centuries of being by himself or whether or not he will actually just be completely kind of one dimensional Dracula, mm. you know, son of the dragon or whatever Dracul means or whatever and go with that. I'm I'm happy either way. I just love where this is headed. I think the direction is much more what we want to see. Less Twilight vampires, more this type of vampire yep. and I think I'll definitely be watching this one. So watch for me too. Cool. All right, guys. Let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Why there? Hit like. Hit subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.